Hey YouTube, I just want to do a really quick video. So, um, you know, uh, probably like many, you know, Gravely guys or tractor um, guys are passionate about their hobby. So they tend to talk about it a lot. So I tend to talk about it a lot. Uh, and, you know, so I bring it up at work every once in a while and people know I'm the tractor guy. But uh, so I happen to have the conversation in front of someone who actually had a Gravely uh, when he was growing up or had had one uh, up until recently so he kind of we were comparing stories he had a I believe he had a 5665 and a few other things but he was uh, also nice enough to give me he said oh I have a box of stuff that I can give you just some old spare parts you're welcome to it if you want it so I said sure bring it in so here's the box let's kind of take a look at it um, so he had uh, a bunch of uh, front gaskets looks like about uh, looks like I can't tell if it's three or four um, looks like three two thinner ones and one thicker one a um, uh, bit of a worn out pulley uh, oh a hitch a down hitch I forget what this goes to but I have seen it before um, looks like a spare wheel off of a uh, mower deck. I'll have to figure out if it fits one of the one, my 50. Um, oh, a, sh a plate. Shut off plate for a PTO. Uh, spark plug for a. Looks like a spark plug for a. Uh, for, you know, either a seven horse or a Kohler. I'm assuming it's a Kohler. Uh, I did post this in the Gravely Facebook page. This is a, a slip clutch tester. So basically the slip clutch, I'll show you real quick for those of you who don't know. You basically, after you tighten down the slip slip clutch on your gravely, you put this in and use a breaker bar, usually a beam bar, um, with the arrow to push to see where it starts to slip. So I don't think the clicker ones, you, you'd probably be more of a pain in the ass to use a clicker one. So you need a beam one that has the needle that flexes. So as you push it, when the needle starts to get, when it starts to turn, you look at where the needle is and you know that this is your slip clutch is set up correctly and these bolts are tight, tight tightened correctly i typically just do kind of the you know the starting point which is the you know just have turn out but now that i have this i can actually somewhat measure it and test it out um, here's a spindle i don't know what it's for i don't know if it's for a top hat um i don't know what it's for i'll have to look up but it looks like it's in decent shape um, a couple a few different nuts a gasket for a carb Let's see if there's a name on it oh this replaces Kohler carb repair kit for Kohler I just lost the part oh there it is over here get that back in there um, looks like some replacement links um, a ball hitch split hitch a broken yeah you mentioned he just one of the split hitches was broken he goes you can weld it um a few nuts i'm assuming for larger ones for some type of spindle uh a spacer for a mower deck more nuts uh, i don't know what these are i'll have to crack it open but um I don't know, I'll have to crack open the thing, but it looks like some fan, or either some drive belts, or these that look too long for a, a fan belt for an OL. Oh, some some to it. And more deck, here's the other split hitch. Another belt. So, and some links. And a, nut, a, few, a bunch of nuts. So, it was pretty, it was uh, very nice of him to do it. Um, so, it was very appreciative. I'll probably give him, you know, maybe you know, something to just uh, repay the favor and um, thank him for it. So just a quick video of, uh, you know, some uh, some support for Gravely Love. So uh, talk to you guys later.